Keep in mind while watching this video that this For More 11 is a beta test and it's not final. For More 11 has actually been postponed, so stay tuned for that. For More 11 beta is finally here with all new features, effects, UI changes, and more. Thank you very much For More for sending me For More 11 beta early, and let's get right into it. <laughs> Starting off in the hub are a few new changes. Right off the bat, we have a new feature called Auto Montage Maker. I know it says Auto Highlight right there, but this is the beta and this is actually the Auto Montage Maker. Also, Instant Mode and Cloud Storage, which I've been wanting for a long time. I'll get into detail about them later on, but let's go into a project. The main thing that is really gonna change montage editing uh, is more speed ramping. As you see, I already put a custom speed ramp on this clip. So to use speed ramping, go into the clip, double click, and go to speed. And there's a new speed ramping feature uh, right here. So basically this is it. I have a few custom ones, but we'll get into the basics right here. Okay, basically this is a standard uh, like highlight time remap for your for any highlight montage, even some overheads depending on what a buildup effect you use. So when the shotgun pulls out, it goes slow and then gets faster for the shot and then goes back to slow. So I'll play it here. Fuck you, Sadie. That's essentially it. To make a basic time remap uh, without the slow-mo buildup, you wanna go to where the bullet comes with the gun, a frame before, or something like a basic one, add a keyframe with this button here. And then you wanna go ahead a few frames, add one a little bit after like that. Zoom in a little bit and add one right in between the two like that and bring this up quite a bit. I would maybe do it four. And then after what you can do is grab this keyframe and just bring it down so it's a little bit slower at the end. And then something like this. So what it does, it basically, you know, impact is quick, boom, and then slows down after. Just something you can you can fiddle with this. You can make your own stuff. It's so cool the way you can customize it to do whatever you want. Uh, you can add it even before the impact. So you want it to be from there. Go ahead, add a keyframe there, make it go slow. Go ahead of a little bit, add another one, make it go fast again, and then you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, you can time it like when it falls down it goes slower than normal speed and then you can create some cool velocities like that way more customizable than you know cutting the clip and stuff like that i'm gonna go over the other ones here so i'm gonna go to this clip this is an identical this is not an identical clip this is not an identical clip okay this is that's not the identical clip this this is not good okay all right so for this clip what we're gonna do is go on to it and go to oh here we are so they have a few one this is montage so this is essentially a different kind of timing map that for has kind of created here so they kind of have all the keyframes all over the place yeah it, i mean it's kind of yeah you just gotta trim the clip up it's a little off just because how the clip that's how it would work we also have hero uh something <laughs> Yeah, gotta line it up. But we have some cool jumper ones, which basically, it's just simple and fast. And yeah. Next up, there are insane new additions in the effects tab. So we want to go to the effects tab. So new in effects, we have new effect plugins, Boris and New Blue, which are absolutely amazing. These will change for more effects uh, so much. Boris has a lot of their own BC styles, like lights, particles, and etc. They have their own custom blurs, even motion blur, which unfortunately I can't get to work right now, but when it releases, that will be insane to use. New Blue also has their own custom ones. There's a bit of an issue while downloading now, but when it comes out, can't wait to try those as well. But yeah, it is long awaited that we have plugins inside for more, and now we finally do, so that's going to be insane to uh, try out. But a few right here, we have like this particle illusion, oops, here. You may also have to purchase some of these, so some of these will have an X. We have BCC Lightning, which is really cool. Let me try this out quickly. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that's probably better than some green screen effects. I have Spotlight. These would be cool to focus on things. Yeah, that's sick. That's, that's really cool. Another change they made is they made some changes to masking. So you'll have the standard image mask here that we've you know had for a while. Uh, very cool, but on the clip, I believe you just go to it. Oh uh, yeah, mask right here. So these are more custom, I believe. You can also import your own shapes and custom masks inside for more, not just the basic ones. But these masks are the same old, same old for like the old ones here. And then once you have one, you can customize it and also save as a custom one. Uh, cloud storage, I'm gonna briefly go over this. Uh, some of you guys might not be interested in it, but up here is cloud storage. You can upload files, save files to the cloud is awesome, so you don't have to waste storage on project files on your computer and stuff like that. If you you know don't have a lot of storage, it is very useful. So the cloud backup is also here. You can, you know, next to your project files, let's do this one. So there you go, the project file is in the cloud, which is very awesome. Uh, go to cloud backup. Something else, you can also share your project files way easier. So right here, you can actually create a link and you can change how long it's uh, valid till and then with a password or not so people can download it. Yeah, so if you want to just create a link and you can you know share it around like that is really cool and I'm gonna use it a ton. Now I'm gonna go to auto montage maker. So basically you wanna import your media. 
Got some clips right here. You can also change the song. So we'll do this. Yeah. Change the speed of your beat cuts. Some video effects such as RGB, glow, etc., etc., And you can do a preview of it right here. <laughs> So you can add some glows and stuff like that. If you want glow, it like comes up every once in a while. You can change the speed of that as well. So just click restart here. Yeah, so glows come up. If you want this more often, you can do that. Some RGB there. We'll just put everything. We'll do, we'll just do everything. Uh, the beat cuts will make that fast. Let's restart. Oh, that's sick. Obviously no timing map, stuff like that. You can easily add that out after. So after you're done, you can do whatever you want export to your timeline. And there you go, this was a montage that literally took about 30 seconds to do. So did it add markers and stuff like that automatically, fades in and out of the song, glows and effects that come up already, some slow-mos, and it's a really cool feature in my opinion, and you can do so much with this, which is just crazy. Something else they added is the new instant mode feature. It's basically a hub for templates to make your own uh, videos like that. So let's pick a cinematic one, which we do. I like this one. This is so you can preview it also. So let's do a little preview of what it's gonna look like. Wow! Come on. I already like it. All right, let's use this. All right, this is where we import the media. I'm gonna use these same clips. Like so once you're in, you're gonna click auto create, and there we go. It says it's a couple minutes. You know, this is seconds it's taking. Was that 18 seconds? Wow. All right, so then you can do further uh, templates once you're in. So this is basically what it's created automatically. I didn't pick one specifically for like gaming or whatever, so it's gonna do a bit of a different style. Uh, you can change your musics and titles and everything. You can customize it once it's uh, done for you as well. So if you somehow don't like how it says baby, which I don't get how you could, uh, you know, double click, it's also on the right side uh, and change it to whatever it'll be like, yes, sir. All right, we'll do that. You can change the font like you normally would in your timeline. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, once you're done, you can export this like normal and you can have it on your, uh, your PC. So yeah, that's all the main features inside for more 11. Make sure to go download it on their website. I'll leave it linked in the description down below for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh. Yes, this outro has no end screens. Need to get this video to, uh, you know, the old eight minutes for that extra rev, even though I'm not monetized because they kicked me. But hopefully in a few days I will be. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> just wait until that eight minutes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys did enjoy the video. This took a long time to, you know, make because, you know, new version, not out. I think it's probably eight minutes. I'm hoping it is. Uh, is it? I'll just, you know, see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>